Good morning, the audience. In this video, we are going to talk about Isaac Newton. Isaac Newton was born on Christmas Day, the 25 of December, 1642, at Wallstrop, a village in southwestern Lincolnshire, in England. His father died two months before he was born. After a basic education in local schools, at the age of 12, he was sent to the King's Schools in Grafham, England where he lived in the home of a pharmacist named Clark. After Newton's stepfather died, his mother returned to Wall Street and she pulled him out of the school to help run the family farm. He preferred reading to working. At the age of 19, he entered Trinity College, Cambridge in England. After receiving his bachelor's degree in 1665, Newton stayed on for his master's but an outbreak of the plague caused the university to close. Cambridge in 1677, Newton quickly completed the requirements for his master's degree and then began a period of expanding on the work he had started at Wall Street. His experience in this area had grown out of his interest in improving the effectiveness of the telescope. Newton was honored when the members of the Royal Society were impressed by his reflecting telescope and when they elect him to their membership. But when he decided to send the Society a paper describing his experience on light and the conclusion he had drawn from them, the result almost changed the history for the worst. Newton's gets six around 1693. Newton's health began to fall and his mind seems to wander. Something he is having a breakdown. Something now that he may have been experiencing mercury poisoning from some of his experience. He's completely well by 1696. Newton died on March 20, 1727. Sir Isaac Newton dies at the age of 84 years old. He is buried at the famous Western Bed Eve. Sir Isaac Newton will be remembered as a brilliant man whose work in man and science continues to influence the world today. Newton's first law states that every object will remain at rest or in uniform motion in a straight line unless completely to change its state by the action of external force. This is normally taken as the definition of inertia. The second law explains how the velocity of an object changes when it is subject to external force. The law defines a force to be equal to change in the momentum per change in time. The third law states that for every action in nature there is an equal and opposite reaction. In other words, if object A exerts a force on object B, Then object B also extends an equal force on object A. In conclusion, Sir Isaac Newton has been one of the best scientists, discoverers and inventors because with him we will not know many things like the law of gravity. That was a unique and advanced discovery for his time, and I believe that science would not have involved without him, thanks to his many discoveries and theories. Every thought that Sir Isaac Newton was crazy, and when he made a great discovery, no one would believe him. Then everyone thought that he had made a discovery that would change the scientists and humans.